Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I got a good one for you. I'm at a, a clinic, and you know, clinics don't get as much love as hospitals do, but when things go wrong, they can go really wrong. And I'm here with a magnet clave. This magnet clave mysteriously would not power up. It's been shut down for the better share of a month, and now that they want to do surgeries tomorrow, it won't power on. Let's go ahead and take a look and see this very interesting problem. Ah, <sighs> where do I even start? <laughs> so when I came in, um, this guy here was pushed back and it was actually impacting against this guy right here. And that caused some of the wires to kind of bind and hit each other and they got hot apparently. You can see the plug has definitely had a hot supper. And the mysterious thing is that I, I come in, I got my chicken stick right here. All right, so I come in, verify the chicken stick works. Look at that, look at that. I don't even have to get close because this here is an ultra sensitive. This is the 20 to 90 volt. And I came in here and on the power cord, I had nothing. I was like, all right. So then I pulled the power plug back just a little bit and I noticed it was a little bit crunchy and I had nothing also right here at the wall. Like it should be glowing, all right? So I had nothing, okay. So I went and I checked the breaker and mysteriously the breaker itself has got, um, well, it looks like it's energizing it. And based on the chicken stick, I have power through my breaker as far as I can tell. Obviously the breaker must have prevented a fire. Something prevented the fire here other than just NEMA plugs and you know electrical code. But holy cow guys, this is a hot supper. Look at this inside this guy here. You can see that the wires, they got really hot. Look at this, this is completely bound up and melted to the plastic. And uh, this is all that I could see coming out of the strain relief right here is that these guys right here, so you can see my L1, L2 and ground. Ground is okay, but L1, L2, those guys got hot, 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 hot. So what I have to do is I'm going to ohm these guys out right here just to be sure make sure that there's no dead short across them which um, the heating element is still going to show probably 9 to 15 ohms on this guy so you know ideally um, it will not be a dead short and there definitely shouldn't be any shorts to ground so we're going to check that out it appears like this guy was just pushed back and you know impacting things that's why whenever there's refrigerators or something I always encourage people to put something back here as a bump stop because just normal use you know it's normally oriented this direction here so people putting stuff in it it just naturally wants to scoot backwards even with the amount of mass that it has it just naturally wants to scoot backwards and here we are so now I have to find me a new plug and this one here is a 30 amp 250 volt twist lock so that's my project I gotta find one of those gotta ohm this guy out make sure that there's no dead shorts because in other words it'll just happen again and then the electrician because the plug got hot has got to go in and check out my breaker is live right now but I have no power coming out of the wall so I got some work out for me um, this is one of those last minute coals and uh, I was not expecting to walk in on a bunch of charcoal so guys, you never know what you're going to get, and when you have PMs, you have devices like this that could be pushed back on their own plug, make sure there's some sort of bump stop back there that will prevent that from happening, because every single time you will have a failure when a device impacts its own cord back behind it. Anyway guys, that's it. It's been an interesting day. Thanks for watching. 